All right, big deal. Uh, I had seen him do a story time where he talked about one time you got shot allegedly and he took you to the hospital. And uh, I was going to ask you, uh, could you, do you remember that story? That I guess, you know. <laughs> What's that smile about, <laughs> brother? You funny as hell. Nah, yeah. I remember you remember that? that? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what was to it, like, uh, from your point of view, could you elaborate for, if you want to talk about it some? Like, what happened? Like, not not too much as far as who did it and all that, but it's like, just the story, like you said, you had allegedly got shot and he took it to the hospital. What's your point of view of that story? What you mean? Like, what's my point? Of, like, what happened? Or yeah, what's my yeah. Point like, of what happened out, outside of, outside of outside of this person did this and all that? Like, in terms of criminal, you know, incriminating somebody. Like, what happened? That's what I mean. What's your point of view of it? Like, you know, did you actually get shot and he took you to the hospital? And if so, like, what what was your point of view of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what it was? Yeah, shit. I got shot. Shit. I ran to the next block, bumped into him. Shit, he took me to the hospital. Oh, so you got shot and ran from where you got shot at, and then ran into him. Yeah. Did you know you were shot though? Yeah. Yeah. Was you the only like you was with somebody? You was by yourself or? Yeah, I was with. Yeah. Other but you the only person that got shot though. Yeah. So what? So so we took you to the hospital. Like. Like what? Hold on, let me ask you this. Was that your first time getting shot though? Uh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. How was that experience though? Like, you know, I ain't never been shot before. I, I shot people before, but I ain't never been shot, so I don't know how I feel. And I'm just keeping it tall. Like, I don't know how I feel to be shot. So it's like, well, did, you yeah, feel like you, did you feel like you was gonna die? I and don't now, know. Like, like, you know what I'm um, saying? Like, for real. Like, you know, like, what was that experience? And I don't, like, I don't even really like talk about shit okay, like that, okay, but at okay. the same time, okay. like, okay. I ain't really had no near death experience though. No times I got shot though. It's like you know how niggas be like with the stories I used to hear though. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be crazy yeah. like, when I got shot, but like it ain't really hurt. It's just like more so the act effect type shit. Right, right. And then I ain't feel like I was gonna die and pass out or not. Right, right, right. But you ain't passed out. You was woke the whole time. He took you to the hospital. You, yeah. you got you got stitched up or whatever. You had to get surgery, all that. Yeah, I was woke yeah. the whole time until they gassed me up and went to sleep. Yeah. So, well, did you have to stay in the hospital for a long time after that? Yeah, I was in there for a couple of weeks. Yeah, damn. Uh, can I ask you your age? Like, how old was you or something like that when you was, like, when that happened? Like, what it was like, it's like, because I want to say, like, you know, that'd be scary for somebody, probably a teenager or something. I know y'all was in the young, so it was like, probably be scary, like, you I'm a teenager. Like, I'm probably like 17, 17. Yeah, damn. Yeah, that's a, that's a hell of an experience, though, brother, like. Um, so, um, uh, did, did they get the bullet out? Nah. Nah. So it's still in? Damn. Damn. That motherfucker be hurting too. Yeah, so when it rained and shit like that, I heard when it rained, like, it, like, or like the weather be changing, it snow, that, it, that's really true? Yeah, like, that's like with your bones and shit, like, I got shot two different times, so I, my hip, like, my bones, yeah, that might hurt, but I got shot in the back and it's like, and hell right here, so they be getting them real cramps. Mm, damn. Yeah. Damn. So hold on. Um, you say you got shot two different times. Was it two different experiences, or you got shot twice that one time? Yeah, two different times. Oh, damn. Can you, do you feel like talking about the second time, like, what, what was it like? Uh, did you have to go to the hospital? Did you just, did the bullet go straight through? Did you just shake back? You want to talk about that, or you ain't really trying to tweak on that? That went to the hospital every time. Yeah. Yeah. Same shit, surgery, all that. No, I ain't only had one surgery. No, I had two sur two, two sur surgeries. Yeah, damn. Okay. Well, how old was you when, it, when that happened? Probably like 19. 19, damn. Yeah, that's back to back. Damn, man. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, damn. That's deep, bro. So you said no near-death experiences. Because some people be saying, like, when they got shot, they sink the light and all that. So I was just wanting to know, like, for the people who want to hear that, you, you ain't never seen nothing like that. You know? are, are you religious? Or, like, spiritual? Uh, or some people ain't religious, they spiritual. Yeah, I say spiritual. Yeah. Like, did you grow up, like, uh, Christian or Muslim or, like... I mean, that shit was around, though, but shit. Yeah. I ain't really indulged until all that. Like right. That. Right, for sure. So uh, I had asked Dutchie about like divine intervention. Like, you know what that means? Like, in terms of like 
say for instance, like uh, divine intervention is like a, a, a spirit or a God or your higher power or something like intervening in your life to like, because you know, you, you took a lot of losses just in life on both sides of y'all whole uh, situation. So it's like, do you feel like it was ever like a spirit or something that intervened in your life that kept, kept you here? Like, you get what I'm saying? Have you ever experienced something like that? Like, Dutchie told me, I mean, let me share a story with Dutchie said. Dutchie told me one time he uh he was snoozing at a gas station. He just dropped everybody off. You seen that? Did I put? I don't think nah, I put that clip I, I know, out. I know what you're but you know about. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. But he said they got the shooting up the car. They shot the car, up, but they ain't hit nothing in the car. But some bullet ricocheted and knocked the knocked some out in the, in the car. Uh, it, it stopped moving. But they thought he was slumped. So, but basically, he was able to get up out of there and run and get away. Have you ever experienced something like that and felt like, damn, this is God or somebody that's keeping me here. That's what, that's what divine intervention. That's what I'm trying to explain in the best uh, way I could. Not going to show that. Not show that. Not show that. like that in that way. Yeah. But shit, every time I, I then uh, go through some shit, I always feel like that. Like, shit, it's a reason and shit. Yeah, it's a lesson and shit. Yeah. And I go through that shit for a reason. Yeah. You feel me? Right, right, right. I feel that. I feel that. And I understand.